I'm cracking on with uh, clearing up of the camp now. Cleared this path a little bit so it's uh, easier to follow. Cleared this area. So maybe it's my OCD kicking in a bit, but I like it clear on one side. I've cleared all the brambles and the bracken, all the fallen bits of wood as best I can. Chucked it over the other side of my little edge of camp barrier there. Tools I had left up here um, when I first bought the wood. Actually, I bought a couple of old second-hand saw and axe. I've got a few other bits and pieces, just cheapo ones that I could leave up here and someone stole them, it didn't matter. So I've got a few tools. So that's what most of the camp looked like before. Overgrown with bracken and there's brambles there, dead wood. Um, and I've cleared a lot of it. There's some old stumps here that I can't really do anything about. So obviously no one can pitch their tent in that area. And then back over at camp. Some neat little stacks of wood ready to set the fire tonight. Um, most of this is the crappy wood. Um, I'll be burning that tonight. It's rotten. And, uh, if I get a good fire going, I can at least get rid of that. Um, I found one decent bit of standing wood there I've cut down. Because here, I've got a nice Y in that tree there. So I figure I can use that as a cross brace to start a shelter. That shelter in the background is the neighboring owner's shelter. So I'm sort of right on the border of our properties here. But so this area here, it's the diagonal there will be the back of the shelter, the sloping back of the shelter. And it's about five foot high, I guess. And so I'll put diagonals all across the back to keep the rain off. And this will be the front. And we'll be close to the fire. So there's the fire when the fire's going. Uh, if you're sleeping in that shelter when it's finished, it will keep you warm, but it's not too close that you're likely to catch on fire. Uh, I need to collect quite a few bits of more wood before I finish that project though. Got some bits there, but I don't think they're suitable for that particular project. So this is to the edge of the property. That's the sort of border. They're marked. The trees are marked on the border here. So the blue, and the blue one there. See the path there. So all this stuff here is the neighbouring wood down through here. It's our little bug out camp which goes off into the distance there. All that's part of my wood. And further down there. So I'll carry on clearing and hopefully I'll make a start on this shelter if I can find suitable bits of wood. Got some of this waterproof fabric that was left over from a project at home when I was re-roofing the pigsty at home. So we've got a little bit there. And a fair amount on the roll there. So that will give me some nice waterproofing. Got a staple gun so I can staple it up. Once I've got some beams up to attach it to. And then around the back. Fold this out and I can waterproof 
back of my wood pile a bit better so it's not all soaking wet when I want to make a fire and then the rest of it will go up the back of the shelter and I'll strengthen it with some my wood that I've collected a few pieces here and these when you're cutting them down off the trees they look nice and straight but when you try actually building something with them they don't look quite so straight but I shall do what I can with what I've got and crack on with the build the weather's improved nicely now, 24 hours later, so I'm making a start on the shelter. Going to be the main beam across the front here. I've uh, cut a notch in that end, and another notch there. we will do a bit more work just to straighten that out. So it lines up that tree over there. So it's about nine foot in length. And then across, probably four foot across. So this will be the bed area inside and then this cross beam and down the side is my wood shelter the other side so I'll have a sloping back and then that log forms the back section and then sloping back up that way. putting a few finishing touches to the camp stage one now. I'm uh, finishing off this last deer skin so I can hang it up in the back there. A slot there for it. So I've got three in the back there. I'll have another one there and then one at the front make it look slightly better. Putting sheepskins there, that will be sleeping on tonight. Um, made some little lanterns with uh, old coffee jars, a bit of wire hanging off there. I put some coloured cellophane in front so it'll give it a nice light. Uh, there's a little tea light in the bottom of that one. And this one down here got a slightly larger pillar candle and around the back the blue cellophane has actually got a foil coating on the inside so that will reflect all the light out this way so each of these little lanterns will reflect the light from the candles inside I've got seven in total I've got two there I've got a couple hanging off there couple more there. Not sure whether I'll leave those ones right next to that deer skin. I don't want to singe the skin. Might move those around a little bit. I'll see what it's like when I light them up later. Um, I've got some more of these deer skins that I'll, depending on how cold it is, I'll put over me tonight. I might make a proper blanket out of them. I've got ten in total. So three, four, 
fifth one I'm just finishing off. So that leaves me with five to make a some sort of blanket out of. Um, so that should keep me warm tonight. I'll show that later on when I set up my bedding properly. I'm just finishing that little project at the moment down there. Yeah, a little wood store on the end there seems to work all right. I left gaps at the bottom so there's a little bit of air flow through to help it dry out. So there's a gap around there. And then at this end I've got a barrel that I can store some stuff in. It's all kept dry by this bit of uh, corrugated iron. And around the back I've covered it up. But again, I've left a gap at the bottom there, so there's a bit of airflow to help the wood inside dry out because it didn't get any direct sunlight really. At the front, these flaps open up, and there's the wood inside. Hopefully, reasonably dry. I just stapled a piece of wood on the bottom of these just so they hang down properly and then when you lift them up then hopefully they won't blow if there's a slight breeze they won't just blow around all over the place so we've got a bit of wood there get the campfire going later on if I have a chance Better crack on with that last deer skin, and uh, then I can get my bed set up.